Hi. I'm on the other side of the car now. It's weird. Uh, so as you can see, I have somebody new here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Hi, I'm Laura. And that is Laura. That yeah. is your tail. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. I like long walks on the beach. Yeah. And sitting in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I like sitting in cars too. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's kind of actually kind of sad how much time I spend sitting in my car now that I think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think about it too much. Uh, <laughs> so, boy, howdy, did you pick an interesting movie to start off with? Uh, so I mentioned this in the Canesman 2 review, but I was talking to you, uh, like, last weekend. I was like, do you want to review a movie this week? And you said, sure, which one should I pick? And I was like, well, do you want, oh, that was pretty good, Michael, or do you want Fuck the World, Michael? And he said, I want Fuck the World, Michael. So I was like, all right, then friend request is the one to go with. Yeah, yeah. Because that's going to be dog shit. Yeah, I was like, I want to see what you're worth. Let's see what's going on and... And yeah, this was a movie. yeah, we got friend request, which holy crap, that felt longer than an hour and a half. <laughs> so, is this everything you wanted it to be? <laughs> what did you get uh, take away from this? Oh uh, man, I, I I took away from like I, it's just something that I wouldn't pay to see myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I bought the ticket. <laughs> There are some yeah. who's like, look, I know it's going to be bad. I'll buy your ticket <laughs> if yeah. you'll go. Yeah. This is one of those. <laughs> um, there's an episode of South Park that I'm pretty sure somebody watched and said, hey, can we make that a horror movie? I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> That's, this is legitimately the concept of a South Park episode. Oh, God. <laughs> Where someone decides to be nice and become <coughs> friends with the one per person who has no friends. And they're seen as the weirdo loser. And then ever since they add their friend, he starts losing friends because he's a bad friend stock. Yeah, actually kind of does <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when you this, think about it. <laughs> this is so that story. Except it's not played for laughs. It's played serious. And it's pretty clear why this should not be played serious in any way, shape, or form. This is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Oh my god, this is so dumb. Uh, super, oh, I think it was super outdated too. I mean, everyone's not. On I'm pretty like sure this is like. I'm pretty sure this is like made like four years ago. I like, or, I'm guessing. And they just found the money. Yeah, like, like that's pretty. It's one of those ones that they like, made and it got shelved. I never know this is on DVD in some places. Uh, really? I'm not kidding. Yeah, like. <laughs> no, no not, you're not talking about bootlegging, right? You're just talking about. No, it's straight stuff. up on DVD in some places. That's how cheap well, nonsense this movie is. If it provides money and like jobs for people <laughs> for like all okay. five people that are in our theater watching this with <laughs> us which honestly i was kind of mad about that <laughs> one day well, you'll get it but it's, it's happened a few times it happened during legend of oz uh and tusk those two ways i can remember we got the theater all to ourselves because nobody else wanted to see it um this isn't legend of oz bad i will say that that's the one with james franco in it uh no, no no that was this is like some, I'm thinking of any type of wizard of Oz. Uh this was like really terrible animated was like like Wizard of Oz movie that was called I think it was called Legend of Oz Dorothy's Return and it had Patrick Stewart as a talking tree who gets turned into a boat so they call him Tug and until at the end of the movie he gets turned into a tank so they call him Tank. Did a kid write it? <laughs> it's so very it. possible. Uh, Elsa had Kelsey Grammer for some reason. Uh, but that's a whole different movie. Um, so, friend request. Fuck. Where do you even fucking start with this? So... <laughs> Why don't you start with, like, the friends? Like, oh, yeah, like, what's, like, what's his face? And blonde surfer doctor guy. Uh, and chubby guy who's just there to die first. Uh, and the comedy relief. That wasn't really much comedy. It was just more like... Not even <laughs> relief. Just... Just... Gah. Just leave. That's a, take out the re. Just leave. Get out. Get out. Leave. Get out. Uh, like, none of these characters have any personality whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, it's really... You can interchange any of them. They're the exact same fucking character. Do you... I don't even You're right. know... Right. <laughs> I don't know any of their names. <laughs> I'm not even convinced they say them at any point in the movie. 
Yeah, actually, it, yeah, I'm not even, I'm starting to forget the whole plot of the movie now. <laughs> it's understandable. Like, again, the only reason I even still remember is because, one, the movie's called Friend Request. It was based on Instagram, we called Like Me. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the characters' names. <laughs> Because that was one? way too easy. Oh, yeah, Laura. Yeah. Uh, Apparently it teaches you don't be friends with Laura because it can get you killed. The moral of the story, I guess, is... like, Or the other moral of the story is uh, be careful who you make fun of in college? I don't know, because they could be a witch. She, I guess. She kind of, like, the, the crazy girl, she kind of reminded me of, like, uh, what, what's the girl with the dragon tattoo, is it called? Yeah, that's the one, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah. yeah. A, a much better movie. <laughs> At least more interesting, because, like, it'd be one thing if this was just a dumb premise, but at least, like, I don't know, it had something to laugh at or some, like, some good characters in there. But this is just so bland. I think there was only a couple parts where I just laughed hysterically because how dumb it was. <laughs> uh, but other times, more like, apparently, for one, it's a Facebook-based economy, which is already weird. Uh, and it has this weird thing where at every time somebody dies, like, like Laura's character name will show up and then show her, like, her friend count as, <laughs> as if that's so fucking important. <laughs> this is one of those stupid asinine movies that just, like, this is how we think kids are like. <laughs> kind of like Steve Buscemi, you know, hello, fellow kids. <laughs> how do you do, fellow kids? That's what it is. Yeah, that one. Yeah, from 30 Rock, yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of like that. And you, I don't know who wrote this. I don't know who directed this. I don't know where this movie came from, but it can suck my dick. <laughs> there you go. Now you can say you've said, seen this side of my personality. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enjoying yourself, I hope. <laughs> Sure, I'll probably watch this later going, what the fuck did I get myself into? <laughs> you love it. It's an extra dose of cynicism. It's like, there it is. I've been looking for that. It's been way too nice in whole yeah, yeah, this point. Yeah, 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 way, yeah. Way too nice in person. And then when the camera turns on, you're just like... Like, fuck. <laughs> Essentially, yes. That's where all my cynicism comes out. It's like the purge, you know. Uh... <laughs> And then all the demons out on camera, there where you're going like, I'm happy and smiling inside, I'm just slowly decaying and dying. Um, kind of like tying back to the... I relate to you now, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Finally on the same page. <laughs> it only took friend request to do it. <laughs> A really, really bad, bad, weird movie. That, I, I, again, I emphasize, you picked. Uh, now, That's true. Now, it's, this is one of those movies, like, I know I couldn't get away with not seeing this because I know I get like, where's your review friend request? And some asshole comment was like, well, I didn't want to see it, guys. But I also need to fill up a top ten worst list later this year, so. <laughs> Maybe that person was trying to get you to uh, respond to his friend request and thought he was going to be, like, a demon to you and, like. That would explain why my Facebook's been so wonky. <laughs> <laughs> I have no friends. What happened? Oh, no. And this movie makes no goddamn sense. Uh, okay, let's break this down, because i got to talk about this bit by bit here, because it's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> here it comes. Here's rant right, mode. Right, yeah, right. Are you ready for this? All right. Begin. Okay. <laughs> so, so, this movie star stars the only character I know, Laura, who apparently has over 800 friends on Facebook. and it's I wish I did. <laughs> I don't no, fucking care. I don't think I collectively know over 800 people, and I don't want to. Uh, uh, why would you want that many people? <laughs> I don't to know. To prove you have friends to others? Because that's usually, at least that's mm. what I get from people who have over, like, 800 friends. I guess. Uh, that's an, And meanwhile, there's this one, character, uh, one girl named something that starts with an M. Are you talking about the the crazy girl? The crazy girl, Marina. Marina, that's what it was. Marina. Uh, the only characters I'm convinced have yeah. names. Uh, meanwhile, Laura is apparently loved by all of her epic one note friends. We all like are okay. Hashtag. Oh friends. my god! And, and they all fucking talk in that right? stupid voice. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Like it's gonna be like monogamous. Like oh my god! Oh my god! Even, oh, my god. Uh, oh my god! It's like <laughs> shut. I immediately go, I was like, I hate you all immediately. <laughs> it's Just like boy. jealous, okay? You're obviously Marina. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm not even a big family guy fan, but I don't think it's like, you know that, that if they talk like this, like every sentence is a question with an yeah, upper inflection, you like the valley girl vibe? 
It's like that bullshit. It's like, oh, fuck. This is what we're in for. Uh, so I'm strapping myself in. And, uh, yeah, so she befriends this one girl named Mar something. Marina. Mar. Marina. Marina. Who, who has a space in her name because she's edgy. Uh, but this, again, I made this for this is an edgy early 2000s Linkin Park fan. <laughs> Is how this character portrays hoodie up, like kind of weird eyebrows going on. Marilyn Manson too. I think. Yeah, little Marilyn Manson, and as becomes obsessed with Laura because she only like, accepts her friend request, and because uh, she's like so obsessed, constantly sending her Facebook messages, and <laughs> this could have solved in so many ways, <laughs> other than what's actually ended up happening. Uh, <laughs> Like, for example, if you lie to someone on Facebook telling, oh, we don't, like, if you don't want someone to go to a party, either one say it's only close friends and family, which would be fair, or two, hide them so they don't see the tagged photos you put on Facebook and act surprised when you get caught because you're that stupid. Um, but then again, who that? fucking cares? It's fucking Facebook! <laughs> Damn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, your thoughts. I can, I'm going to keep going, but I want to take a break. No, I go take ahead and side. stop me at any time, because I'm going to just, I don't know what to say. That's okay. I let it come to you. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, I'll keep going. You can interrupt me when you have something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> I gotta think for a second. Fair. It's it is a lot to process. So That's stupid to process. I didn't say it was good. Uh, I said it's a lot to process. That can mean many things. Uh, so she the next day apparently I'm just gonna call her Mar because it reminds me of the episode of Community and it gives me happy thoughts. Okay. Uh, that works. I need it happy thoughts. You. Happy thoughts help. <laughs> They get me through stuff like this. Uh, now, I do want to point out, this is not bye-bye man bad. It's close. But bye-bye man was also hysterical. <laughs> and somehow more nonsensical than this one. Um, that one was a delight. <laughs> I still have to watch that, I No, guess. you don't, but... <laughs> I was like, they, should you... I say that just to make him... <laughs> <laughs> no, you really shouldn't. Uh, All right, good. I won't waste but if it time. pops up on Netflix and you got nothing better to do, have a few beers and have a good time. <laughs> well, let's see. What's the last time I did something like that? I actually watched what Shrek the Musical. Oh so uh, I'd have to be at least really drunk. <laughs> really drunk. That, that is probably the best way to go into Bye Bye Man. Uh, but. Anywho, so um, once she kills herself, then... I think he backed up far enough. <laughs> this person from us backing up. Um, and then things on Facebook start getting wacky. And then whenever somebody dies because of shenanigans, then they get the suicide view gets put up on Facebook and she loses more friends. Oh, my God. Um, I think I really liked also the coding on there. Like when... <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. I don't know where we left off, but <laughs> it's not worth like whenever. We're talking about coding, I think. Uh, yeah, but I just want to make sure. Uh, I don't oh, know if I don't, like I don't know when the camera stopped recording. Oh, sorry. Uh, so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit just in case. So uh, after Mar kills herself, uh, stuff on Facebook starts getting wacky, and people st and like people on Laura's friend, like they're in the middle of that dinner that she wasn't invited to. Cause oh my god. That is totally a reason for murder. <laughs> well, no, it's suicide. Well, it turns into murder. Yeah, because she turns into ghost code girl, yeah, but... and then starts murdering folk. <laughs> Very rain. Now that I think about it, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. minus like replace VHS with a much dumber concept. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so whenever someone kills himself, they. Uh, the suicide vote gets posted on Laura's Facebook and everyone's like, oh my god, why'd you post this? It's so disgusting. You're such a horrible person. And then she loses friends and her friend counter goes down. Oh my god, it's so dramatic. Uh, but the part that kills me is anytime anyone posts anything where they tag all 833 people on your friends list, you know what my first thought is? 
dude, you got hacked. You got to take this shit down. Because <laughs> why would you go through the trouble of tagging individually all 833 people? I don't know, but that takes a lot of work and dedication that I ain't got time for. <laughs> But a ghost apparently does. Apparently. Well, it's a ghost. I'm assuming it has nothing better to do than literally, I don't know, anything else. I know. Uh, you actually jumped three times in this movie. Yeah, but it was for stupid reasons. It wasn't It wasn't because it was scary. It was because it, you know, it was really quiet. And then all of a sudden he'd whisper to me like, look at that. Ah. <laughs> don't, don't blame me for this. I didn't no, no, say no. a goddamn thing. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, you did. You did. You did. You were making comments during the entire time. I mean, I was, but not during the parts where you jumped. No, you're like, oh, look at the coding on there. And you whispered something like, her, her. And <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, dunge. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> It made me jump. Yeah, it was just the, you know, the... Don't uh, blame dun, me for dun, dun sounds that got me. Oh, like, my favorite one, though. My favorite dun-dun sound was when, after the big blow-up, when <laughs> Mar yells at Laura in the middle of the cafeteria, and she just getting more and more stocky, and then she hovers dramatically over the unfriend button. And the camera pans to the mouse pad and with one dramatic finger push and she does it like this by the way It's a big dramatic thing it goes Push to the button and the, and the music goes boom. That didn't scare me that No, wasn't the uh, part the no but it, clear that no, no. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying it did I said it was my favorite moment of like <laughs> dramatic music as in to like wow You are taking this way too fucking seriously movie <laughs> um but yeah, we're talking about coding before the camera went out. So, uh, yeah, he, one of the friends of his party is this ridiculous person. By the way, all the acting is shit in this movie. I just want to point that out right off the bat. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> college freshman at first year acting school kind of level bad acting. Like, oh no, don't go. I love you. You're such an amazing daughter. Drink. <laughs> Of course, you know, that could be argued to be, like, a real-life person. <laughs> like, a, a mom could actually be like that if you have a dysfunctional mom. If it was intentional! <laughs> I know. That, there has to be intention well, there. Well, I'm just making sense for the other two people who were in the movie theater with. <laughs> I think it was, like, three. I don't know. I saw two people in the front. I don't know. Like, I almost it. paid them to fucking leave. <laughs> Here, go see a better movie. Guess Seriously, what? Seriously, Kingsman no Next Door. Go do something better. So uh, we got that Ben Stiller movie playing across the hall. That's supposed to be pretty good. Go see that one. Uh, I'm leave so I can make fun of this stupid movie openly. <laughs> and granted, it's a very riffable movie. Very, very riffable. But anyway, not only is this guy like tattooing his eyeliner for reasons, uh, but he's also uh, plays the best in... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Not copyrighted video games. And, uh... No, because, like, he... You hear... Like, he first goes to the door, you hear, like, a video game in the background, but it's all, like, obviously, like, uh, public domain, like, video oh, game sound effects. Oh, right. It's like, pew, pew, pew! <laughs> That's how I imagine those games uh, work. Uh, but he's also a hacker of sorts, or a programmer. I'm not he quite like sure. A programming, like a yeah, web design student. But this one apparently replaced like regular coding with that lang that secret language of Futurama. <laughs> but I don't know if you've seen Futurama. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. But <laughs> well, I watched some episodes, but I did some of things. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but either way, like the little language that's in that show, I swear to God, it's the exact same as like the, the Crete, the, the haunted code that's in this one. Looks like just cha someone changed their font to that weird one that just has little symbols and shit and shoved that in there and tried to make it look spooky. And matrixy. And matrix. Yeah, it turns straight up into the fucking matrix at one point, <laughs> uh, right before the part where you jumped. <laughs> It was a printer. <laughs> it was a printer. The scariest device Every, of all. Watch, everyone's like, now she's a big fucking freaky cat. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, the internet can say much worse. Yeah. It's all right. They've, I, okay. I've been called way worse things. You've read the, my, you've read some of my comments. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Not that no. <laughs> <laughs> it was you, I knew it. Uh, no, you still haven't caught me yet. <laughs> <laughs> you confession. <laughs> right on camera. Um so 
yeah, this dumbass concept continues to go through. Into, but, and I love, this is part of the, like, the one part I openly laughed at was when, like, the... the <laughs> you didn't laugh really hard at I, I had to laugh really hard at this, because it just, the way it was presented was just so, like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, was when the first death happens is when this, like, the com- the not comedic, not relief guy... Um, is the first to go in an elevator, and it happens, like, when her, I guess her girlfriend, or his girlfriend, is, like, the first to find him when she goes to the elevator, and the door is, oh, o- yeah. the door is <laughs> open, and apparently he is going, boom, boom, like, against the elevator yeah, walls, yeah. and that's what kills him, and I'm saying, like, ha, 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 that's silly. <laughs> yeah, I think there was, like, sound of, like, his feet stomping, and then you just see him, like, come across the camera and just, like, <laughs> 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 and just like bonks his head in the elevator wall goes the next round. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, yeah, he yeah. He bonks to death. He like, literally bonks to death. And I guess the girlfriend goes to the hospital with a case of fright. <laughs> Because next shot, she's just in the hospital. They don't tell you why. She's just there. And she's staying overnight. She's staying overnight because I guess she had a bad case of the heebie-jeebies. I think she was the worst actor. In, a, I think, oh, in my opinion, she was like, the worst. Actor. Was she British or was she not? Because there was times I, she was, it was slipping and it was kind of throwing me off. <laughs> Because when she walked right out of her, walked right out when she was gonna get like taken by Marina, um, she kind of she she was not <laughs> scared at all. But she was like, "Please don't kill me, kill me for what? money, no, <laughs> kill me, no." <laughs> As, it's like, and the way she kind of ran to made me chuckle because I was she did like like a little hobble thing, and <laughs> and in my head I was going, "Hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 no." Because we know I'm watching bad movies, I gotta do something to carry me through. <laughs> yeah, she needed help running. Maybe they should CGI that. <laughs> oh no, we gotta CGI all the bees because you know it, we really need to beat, beat Wicker Man in the effects department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wonder how much money they got to, it, and they're like, where should we put it? Hmm. Bees. Into the bees, <laughs> not the bees, not the bees. Okay, Charlie, calm down. <laughs> I'd rather be watching Wicker Man. At least has Nicolas Cage in a bear costume punching the shit out of someone. <laughs> Still my all-time favorite cinema scene. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Kendall. It's okay. I just have to describe You've it. You've seen a lot of movies. <laughs> now, to be fair, I have not watched the, Wick, the the remake of Wicker Man all the way through, but I know this scene because it's amazing. It's the only movie I know of where at one point Nicolas Cage puts on a bear costume, runs right up to a woman, and just clean clocks her right in the face. What was the point? <laughs> there is no point. I don't know. Like, he's supposed to be in disguise and, like, it's a cult or something, but the way it's shot, it's so hilarious and so easily riffable. Wicker Man is a delight of bad movie. <laughs> I think one of the best uh, jokes ever I heard about that one was, like, walk a walk a whore and then just punch her in the face. <laughs> So good. Should I watch that one? You might actually. <laughs> that one is that one is such a legendary bad movie at this point. Okay, Wicker Man. Got it. That's like Nicolas Cage at his best slash worst. But it's Nicolas Cage. It, it's it's like it's pure Cage rage. Okay. Maybe. It's that kind of movie. Watch it. Yeah. I don't need to get drunk to watch that one. You just laugh your ass off. Have a good time. Um. Uh, Talking about better experiences and what we sat through. So, yeah, the whole movie accumulates when everybody fucking die. Oh, yeah, the, by the way, that's another. T- let's talk about the police officers in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, from the obvious hacker of Facebook that anyone with half a brain could figure out, apparently the cops aren't one of them. Uh, because are you going to her like, uh, well, these videos can post up on your timeline. Are you saying you haven't posted them? Who else would post them? I don't know. The same person that tagged 833 people in it. <laughs> I love how they don't even like suspect, like, oh, why don't we just confiscate your laptop and maybe take a look at it? If yeah, right. If are coming from there, maybe you have something to do with it. You look suspicious. Like, I don't know, call the IT guy. <laughs> An IT guy, though, for this case, he better have like a like a demonology <laughs> like, degree. Or, or well, be either part, one, like, like a priest that was like kicked out and excommunicated, <laughs> but knows about demons. That would have been a better plot, actually. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's played by Aaron Heckard because that just feels like a role Aaron Heckard would do. <laughs> 
Uh, Two Face from the Dark Knight. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, but yeah, but at the same time, I was also like, even if he wasn't, I would take it like an IT guy to look at that laptop for five seconds, going, yeah, yeah, something weird's going on here, dude. <laughs> uh, that's not code. That's not code. That's not uh, code, man. That's fucking weird. <laughs> we need a priest. <laughs> Then it suddenly turns into another Exorcist movie. Might still end up better than this one. I mean... Don't never say never. Exorcist 2 is still a thing. Right. I know. I know. Exorcist 3 is not that bad, though. Never <coughs> seen that one. That was actually not that bad. Um, but anywho. Um... So yeah, it's just everyone is such a fucking idiot in this Facebook-based economy, and it makes no sense. And it doesn't make any sense how they couldn't even just contact the Facebook people and say, "Hey, this is my account. Close it, please." But I think that's what she was talking to. I think she's trying to close like her the other girl's account. Oh, that's what I got out of it. I don't know. Either way, it's still stupid. Um, and yeah, it it just follows every cliche down the letter. Jump scare is all about not scary, bland characters ends in it. Ends in a jump scare with the sequel bait, which is <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> this movie's getting a sequel. Hey, you know what? How the hell did they get a budget for this? They probably could get a budget for the next one. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, horror movies are notoriously cheap, which is how we have so many Nightmare on Elm Street movies. That's true. Um, but unless the Skype horror movie also gets a sequel. <laughs> Now it's moving on to Snapchat. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. <laughs> mm, call me. <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> I'll help write you the story. You know what? Fuck it. If you can pitch that and get a green lit, all the power to you. <laughs> I only asked for a dollar. No, I'm kidding. I want more money than that. <laughs> Snapchat. The movie. No. No. No, you need a better title than that. I, I always know. just have another emoji um, movie. Hotspot? Yeah, I know there's hotspots on those Snapchat. That just sounds like porno. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome that's it. to Hotspot. Well, that's it, because isn't Snapchat used to send sometimes dirty pictures? I mean, that's at least that's what. True, but like, how would that work? Would just a boob start sagging <laughs> at one point? <laughs> oh no, it's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ghost boob. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my brain is somewhere horrible. Say, like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for some reason, I just imagine a Snapchat of like someone just like someone like posting a dick pic, or something like that, and then just one of the testicles starts like moving up and down. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> and then they develop fangs and they kill. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> Snapchat horror movie, let me think. Well, it has a ghost, you know, they use a little ghost as a I movie. know what all the reviews would say. Snapchat? More like snap shit, am I right? Oh my god, this would be good. <laughs> if anyone's got a good idea for a Snapchat the horror movie. Yeah, but you have to have Booby Chan in it. <laughs> <laughs> Booby Chan? <laughs> The ghost is named Booby Chan. Ah. She goes from Snapchat story to Snapchat story. You think it's a filter, but it's not. <laughs> there you go. The mo nine most horrifying seconds of your life. That's the tag. That's the tagline. Don't rewatch it again. <laughs> Insta in Instagram, we're like Insta Death, coming this summer. Hashtag Diddy John. <laughs> Oh god, they'd probably make that fucking movie too. Hire me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the idea person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ugh. Oh, I mean, like it's it's other than just every generic horror movie you've ever seen, it's just so stupid. Um, uh, I can't really think of anything else to talk about. Can you think of anything? <laughs> it's okay if you can. This is usually around the point where you just move on to trailers. Yeah. No, <laughs> not really. Uh, you pretty much said it all, other than you know. Yeah. It's just stupid. Yeah, don't waste your time. No. I mean, don't oh, yeah, do you recommend this movie? Oh, uh, my answer would be don't even, like, go to a mirroring site and watch it. <laughs> don't even, like, oh, man. download uh, uh, it. The only way I can justify it is if you're, like, somebody like me who reviews this shit, then, like, that's the only reason I can justify it. But even then, don't 
give us any money. And, and take a shot of tequila before you watch it or something like that. Just... Uh, more, you're going to need more than that. Get the bottle of whiskey out. <laughs> take a drink. Ooh, take a drink every time someone posts a comment on her page. <laughs> no, okay, also, take, drunk by take another shot every you time her friend, or her friend number oh, yeah. pops up. Oh, yeah. That'd be good one. <laughs> And combine that every time somebody says the word account. <laughs> now you'd be dead. Oh, why would you post that, too? Oh, yeah, that's another one. Ingram, I, uh, I can't even justify this as a drinking game, because I mean, you still have to watch this shitty movie. You uh, might pass out in the, like, the first five minutes. This is true. That could work to your benefit. Yeah, and they could say you watched it. Or every time somebody says, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. And every time you forget somebody's name, take a shot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, trailers. So the first one we got, this first time we got in this trailer is for Polaroid. Speaking of dumb concepts, you remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one where it's like it's a haunted Polaroid camera. If you get a shot, a shadow in a camera, you die in real life. Which again sounds like a problem with a really easy solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would your solution be? Just throw away the fucking camera. <laughs> Might be like go on Instagram, but then you never know if, it, if you try. <laughs> oh to no, catch Titty John is there too. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> you think you're safe in the Polaroid monster? No, I just went to Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for being retro. <laughs> I don't know why it has his oh, voice. Oh, but this may have all, like, hipster deaths, so it might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> True is getting rid of all the hipsters. That's how you do it. Polaroid, ghosting all the Polaroid cameras. It's so retro, this is what you get <laughs> for remembering the past. <laughs> why don't you just post on Instagram, watch so characters going to say something like that, but like, no, I love Polaroids. It's because it's so cool and, like, it's, it's like it's, it's so real, you guys, and it just so captures the spiritual essence of the human spirit. I'm so deep, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this got dark. <laughs> Titty John strikes again. <laughs> see? See? Snapchat that. <laughs> Titty John. And then we got uh, Bad Mom's Christmas. Like, I could give a fuck. <laughs> uh, did you ever see the first one? I did, yeah. Did you like it? No. I didn't like it not. either. Uh, wasn't the worst comedy I saw that year. Yeah. It was just like, it's very forgettable. I honestly don't remember much about it. All I know is, I think the whole time in that movie, I was thinking, like, I cannot picture her as a mom at all. Mila Kunis? Yeah. I mean, she has, like, two kids. She has a I kid. know, but I, 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 don't, I don't picture her as a mom. <laughs> I don't. I still picture her as, the, you know, the, that 70s girl, right? Yeah, yeah, that was her. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Panic for a second. <laughs> <laughs> they don't all look the same, Laura. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Hey guys, when we first time, I've been called racist several times on this show from people who just like to get that reaction. <laughs> uh, and then we got Jigsaw, um, torture porn. <laughs> Wait, should we tell that story? <laughs> if you want, I mean, I don't give a shit. Uh, so I got to meet a couple of your friends last weekend, and we decided to play heads up at a wine tasting, and. Uh, the, one of the first ones to pop up what, for like blockbuster movies was Saw, and without thinking, I was like, oh, torture porn, like as loud as I could. And everyone in our little group just stopped and looked at me, and that's when I realized I'm the only one that's heard that term. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of privilege your friends come from. <laughs> well, like what? I only knew like three people there. Fair and enough. They looked, at, they looked up and they're like, what? <laughs> but the other ones are like, what the fuck's wrong with this dude? Who the fuck invented, who invented, who invited this guy over? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Blame her. It was my phone. Saying that was my credit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, now you got Sir Barbican, and I want to see that one. What one's that about? That's again? the Matt Damon one that's in like uh, the suburbs. Right. But it's also written by the Coen Brothers and directed by George Clooney. Right. Cohen, no, is it? Okay, I'm thinking of the Wachowskis. Yeah, Cohen Brothers, uh, who wrote, like, The Big Lebowski and all those weird-ass movies that I love, which I fully acknowledge are not for everyone, but I still love them. Oh, and Fargo, they also wrote Fargo. Right. You've seen, have you seen Fargo? Yes. Okay, of that one. Of course I did. You Steve also... <laughs> ah, Steve right. Steve Buscemi, guys. <laughs> okay, go. <cool. laughs> 
<laughs> Don't no, make me look... Go! <laughs> you can't look any weirder than any of us are already doing this show. Keep that in mind. Okay, good. Because uh, we've been doing this for five years. We've said and done some weird ass shit in the show. <laughs> we're, we're a cast of misfits. That's how we get, that's why we work well. All right, yeah, but what they have going for me now is I get, I'm easily spooked by sounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently I need a drink to get through a lot of movies. <laughs> and me too. Yes, uh, <laughs> hey, I have gone to some movies flat out drunk. I'll fully acknowledge. Uh... Like, I, have you done that and like recorded it for people? I mean, not not you going to the movie, but like I think I've like, gotten drunk and they made a yeah, recording. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I so. No, I take it back. It's strange magic. I was still pretty drunk by the time I got out of that movie. Because <laughs> <laughs> there used to be camera twelve right outside San Jose State, uh, so we'd go, used uh, to go there all the time. And there used to be this great like jazz bar right next door. So I used to go there and just chug like three beers <laughs> right for a bad movie. <laughs> Depending on what it was. And the bartender knew me. One was like, so what you seeing today? Strange magic. All right, here's a beer. <laughs> now, I bet you for, like, bad movies, if you start drinking before you go to the movies and then you review it after, your whole, like, view of the whole movie. Oh, no. Changed. My my conscious brain is still kind of like, it's like, this is where you fucking sucks. Worse, yeah. uh, but I don't remember much afterwards. That's the <laughs> caveat. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're really looking forward to it. And then we got uh, Happy Death Day. Like, Groundhog oh, yeah, Day yeah, meets yeah. Slasher. For, uh, slasher. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know, that one could be fun. It could be, in theory. <laughs> you, don't th you, don't, you don't think it's going to be good? I don't know. I mean, I don't think, it, I think it's going to fall flat. That's my You think so? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is one of those movies that they don't know how to advertise, which kind of makes me curious. Because the trailer is very, like, amplifying the horror, but you can also tell there's, like, a lot of tongue in cheek comedy moments in it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't think they know how to properly advertise, which makes me kind of curious. I'm putting my money on the guy with the long hair being the killer. Probably. They flashed really quickly. Probably. Just, it's always long haired people. I know. And with weird baby masks. Yeah. It's always the quiet ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Flatliners. Okay. You haven't heard my rant about this movie. No, and I'm not really 100% sure what it's about, other than people dying to live. Uh, this, mo uh, this movie can fuck off. Uh, basically, it's about a bunch of, like, college-level scientists, quote-unquote, who decide to, like, study the afterlife by killing people and then bringing them back. But then they make it into some weird, like college dare thing like oh you were dead for three minutes I'm gonna be dead for four minutes I'm gonna be for five and stupid bullshit like that and they do it over and over again just get some kind of transcendental experience but then it turns out they bring something back with them and it starts to haunt them and stupid bullshit like that so is it titty chan it might be titty chan <laughs> <laughs> it might as fucking well be. Uh, I know. I just know. Like as a, as somebody who's done extensive studying on the brain, this movie pisses me off. <laughs> because like we brought something back with us. Like no, you no, you didn't. You just caused. Guess what? Extensive brain damage. Because you know why the brain needs oxygen. When you're dead for seven minutes, guess what you take away from the brain? Oxygen. You have brain damage. You're not haunted. <laughs> you're just stupid. <laughs> It was like back when Transcendence comes out and like my, Morgan Freeman was like, you only use 10% of your brain. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> you use 90% at all times. That's how it works. <laughs> Stuff like that really pees me off. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this new perspective. I, I am. I'm taking notes. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the left column. <laughs> it's getting extensively long. Okay. That's what he <laughs> See, there you go. Now you're getting into it. Uh, then we got Geostorm. Uh, <laughs> those trailers can't decide what movie they want to promote. I've seen three trailers for this one. Each one has a massively different tone. The first one is, oh god, isn't this horrifying? The second one's like, hey, what if we had Guardians of the Galaxy but it starred Gerald Butler? And this one's kind of like, <laughs> more horrifying, but here's Gerald Butler. <laughs> It's like, even if this movie's problem is solved, I'm pretty sure the world's still fucked. Yeah. It's kind of like Independence Day 2, where like even after they destroy all the aliens, like, well, most of the civilization is dead. So it's about aliens? Sorry. Oh, Independence Day 2? No, no, oh, no, I was talking about the Geosmart. Yeah. No, that's... 
Geo Spartan. <laughs> this is Geo Sparta. Kick him off the satellite. <laughs> That's probably how it's gonna end. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go up in a rocket, end up on top of the satellite, and kick whatever entity is there. Yeah, probably like whatever bad Fuck guy, whatever this is, uh, whatever stupid plot line this is. Uh, and it uh, looks like a Roland Emmerich film. Roland Emmerich's one that makes like uh, Day After Tomorrow, uh, Independence Day one that's and two. What it looked like to yeah, me. that he, he, that director makes those. I don't think he's directing this one. Okay, because like, does he does he know that there's other things in the world that he can like really. Right. Uh, like I will say, like my favorite movie is, is is one of those so bad it's hilarious movies. Actually, has Shane Tatum in it. Uh, You're crazy. <laughs> no, that's Michael Shannon. We'll get to him right. in a second. Um, I don't feel so bad now about Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, now the whole world knows you have a crush on Steve Buscemi, though. He's part of my man bitch mansion. I have an extensive man bitch mansion. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, but that one, like uh, White House Down, is hilarious. Roland Emmerich film because that's very tongue in cheek and it has a point where it's like me, Grant, and a friend who's not on the show anymore, Patrick, and we saw it together in a crowded theater and there's one part where we all could not stop ourselves. We laughed so hard that I'm I still amazed we didn't get kicked out of the theater because we're, we're in the front too and we are just ah! We are like laughing so hard we can't take in the air to produce the sound of laughter. <laughs> And I'll tell you, after, I've, I've, said, I've gone over it so many times on the show, I don't want to bore you again with it, but I'll tell you after it's done, because it's amazing. But I know it has, it's Jimmy Fox is the president, and Ch and Channing Tatum is, like, the person that's protecting terrorists take over the White House. Okay, that sounds familiar. Like, I might have seen... It came out around the same time the Gerald like Butler version of that same movie came out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but it has my favorite line, uh, Jimmy Fox lines. He has, like, this old... Uh, pocket watch he's from Abraham Lincoln and at one point it takes a it gets he gets shot but the the pocket watch takes the bullet and of course Jerry Fox is black so he takes the, <laughs> the pocket watch out looks at it and goes oh I guess Lincoln took a bullet for me a second time <laughs> that's an actual line in the movie I'm not making that up <laughs> or one where he just starts kicking a guy while he's wearing Air Jordans he'll get your hands off my Jordans <laughs> so good um, uh, anyway, and the last trailer we got was The Shape of the Water, uh, A Shape of Water, which I'm really looking forward to that one, uh, mostly because that has one of my man bitch mansion, which is Michael Shannon, uh, I adore that man, because he, he's, again, he's a real life Hulk, he can go from zero to a thousand in a millisecond, and it's great. <laughs> he wish he'd go Hulk for you. <laughs> I'd totally be a bottom bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> you're the guy that gets it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what he says in the trailer or something like that? You get it done. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably like you can get me done. <laughs> okay, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. Uh, mostly, we're like, yes, sir. <laughs> Tell me what you want, Michael Shannon. <laughs> Don't hit me, please. <laughs> or maybe a little bit. Uh, <laughs> right here, right here, yes. Mm. <laughs> Do your best Zod line. <laughs> you can be Zod, I'll be Superman. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Is that your kryptonite? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your kryptonite in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> You can find me anytime, Michael Chan. <laughs> Anywho, so she with the water looks really good. <laughs> uh, no, legitimately that one. Like I, I've heard from like earlier views, like from festivals and stuff like that. It's supposed to be like one of Guillermo del Toro's best films he's ever made. Really? That's what I've been. That's the early buzz about it. So it does. Look, it does look really, really good with practical effects, which I really appreciate. Because uh, like you can tell, all the makeup's really there. And God knows how much that poor man had to sit there in the makeup chair. Oh, God. Although it could be Doug Jones. Doug Jones is used to it. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, you know what Doug Jones is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, if he's probably okay with it. He's basically made his entire career off doing stuff like that. And I love Doug Jones. Doug Jones is like Jimmy a good actor when they actually let him talk. Uh, the poor man. I feel so bad for him. Because, one, he got dubbed over into the first Hellboy from that guy from Frasier. And then he got dubbed over in Fantastic Four 2 by that guy from The Matrix. <laughs> 
poor man just keeps getting screwed over. They let him talk in Hellboy too. That was nice. He's still rolling in the Benjamins. Yeah, he was also in Bye Bye Man. Is that the one that you said not to see? The one that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, but not Hard to watch, but drunk. Yes, essentially. Okay. Uh, I got that... a drunk list, and then I got like a mm -hmm. don't freaking even try to look at it. <laughs> list. It depends what kind of mood you're in for. Uh, so yeah, that was the last trailer. So you got any final thoughts for uh, friend request? My thoughts are nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, ditto. <laughs> um, so, later this week, I still got to see Ninjago, and I still want to see the Ben Stiller movie, because that's supposed to be really good, and I could use a good, like a really good movie that the critics and I can actually agree on for once, because I hated Mother last week, and apparently I loved Kingsman when everyone else hated it. Ah. <laughs> uh, now I have to really see it. Because, <laughs> like, I, I still thought it was a lot of fun. Apparently, I'm, like, in the minority in that opinion, which still kind of astonishes me, but I, I whatever. Uh, I'll stop being the beast stuck, and Craig's love that one, so, you know, they're not always right. Um, so, yeah, thank you for joining me. No problemo. <laughs> Would you like to come out for an interview someday? Sure, I mean, I guess. You guess, yeah. As long as it doesn't have any scary noises, apparently. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah. Hey, at least you actually see horror movies. There's some, there's some people on the team like, I flat out refuse to watch any horror movie. Why? Uh, just because they just can't. Same reason for spooky sounds, easily scared. Uh, well, yeah, because you're talking, too, to, during the movie. It's probably I don't, like, well, because, To be fair, it's a bad movie, so of course we're going to talk over it. <laughs> if you want to go tell me to shut the fuck up if you're really that invested. No, but, <laughs> I wasn't that invested. You were talking just as much as I was. I <laughs> so don't blame all the blame on me. <laughs> It was good. It was it was good to make fun of it. See exactly. See, it's fun. It, That's how we so, get through it. Well, then yeah. If if you want to go and like talk during a movie and make fun of it and see how much shit you can talk about, like smack about the movie, then go. <laughs> don't pay full price. <laughs> go for free. Sneaking through the back. <laughs> you know someone that works <laughs> for security. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, don't, don't not in this theater anyway. We got to, we actually got took out by security one time here. Oh, why? Uh, because we saw two different movies that day, and one in the morning, one in, like in the late afternoon. And apparently he found suspicious that I was had a backpack during the morning and not the other showtime. That was several hours later. <laughs> so he took us out, made us show us her ticket, oh, and then right. asked like, "What? Like, what's like? Where's the backpack?" They like, went all full Jack Bauer on me. <laughs> where's the trigger? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's in the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was stupid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thank you for joining me. Thank you guys for watching. See you all later. <laughs>